today is an unboxing and I'm so excited for this one. I just got back from Melbourne a couple of days ago. I bought some of this in Melbourne and some of the things I actually couldn't get in Melbourne because they didn't have my size. So I just went into the city here in Brisbane yesterday and picked up those things that have been on my wish list for a really long time. So we've got Gucci, we've got Louis Vuitton, we've got Van Cleef, we've got Chanel, Vulgari and Burberry. So I think we're going to start with Chanel. So I have made a video actually before about my distaste for Chanel. I actually mentioned previously a couple of times, I even made a video about it. Uh, Chanel and the quality and the price increases and the level of service and just sort of all around being subpar. I did mention that I won't buy from Chanel again and I probably should have clarified I won't buy another bag from Chanel. So I do really like their shoes. I've had a pair of Chanel Espadrilles for like five years and I wear them a lot and they're in perfect condition and I'm really happy with them. So I did have this pair of shoes from Chanel on my wish list for a little while. And I actually messaged my SA here in Brisbane, Lauren, being like, hey, I'm really wanting these shoes in a size 38. Can you please source them for me? And after two weeks, I had to send her another message saying, hi, I just want you to follow up on this. And then she did get back to me and say, I have these for you, but I'd already gone to Melbourne. And I went into the store and they didn't actually have any in my size because I would have bought them in Melbourne because the service that I experienced in Melbourne was actually really good. Um, not pushy at all, not unprofessional, which is not what I experienced in Sydney. Sydney Chanel was the worst experience I've ever had, period. Uh, basically, I asked to see like white bags because I'm in the market for a white small bag. I don't have one. And um, the sales associate was just like so cold. Like she was clearly like in a rush. She just like did not put any effort in. And um, she like pulled out like a gray bag. And I was kind of like, oh, you know, it's a nice bag, but I need like a white bag. I'm not looking for a gray bag. And she snatched it out of my hands and walked away. And I was like kind of thinking like, oh, she now understood that I want a white bag, which is what I've been saying all along. Maybe she's going to bring me back a white one. And she just like didn't come back. And then she just sort of like went over to the front door and like greeted someone else to come in, which is like my cue to leave. So it was incredibly rude. But I um, had a really good experience in Melbourne. The sales associate there was like super helpful, really, really nice. And I was like, oh, we're going to keep looking. And he was like, no worries. Like, have a great day. And I was like, interesting. Anyway, I went into Chanel and uh, the sales associate yesterday I dealt with, I cannot remember his name. He had like blonde hair and he was quite femme. He was very nice, very lovely. And he sold me the pair of shoes that Lauren had organized for me. She wasn't working yesterday. And I love these. I think I first saw them on Rich Kids of Beverly Hills, Morgan Stewart. She's super iconic for wearing these. And like, I just love her style. Oh my gosh. Oh, cute. Even these as well have gone up in price. I remember when I was first looking at them, when they first went on my wish list, I think they were like $1,000. And they've gone up by $400. So there's that. Dust bags. Oh, they've changed their dust bags. These are just like cotton. My espadrille ones are like really thick and like soft. I'm going out of focus. So, if you haven't been able to tell already, one of my favorite colors is beige. My espadrilles are actually in this same color combination, the beige and black. And I just find them super versatile. Like, you can wear them with a black dress, you can wear them with colors. Like, I literally just really like them and they have like the little um, gold Chanel detail there and they're super comfy um, and they do come with a version with like a chunkier heel I tried them on but I just feel like the flats are like more versatile for me and like I can go shopping in flats I can't go shopping in heels so yeah I am really happy with this purchase not an impulse buy I've been wanting these actually I really don't impulse buy I think one of these things was like not on my list that I bought but why do I keep going in and out of focus? I need a new camera so badly, apparently. So I had such a positive experience in Chadston Burberry in Melbourne. The sales associate was just delightful. And oh, I grew up wearing my mum's Burberry scarf and I think it's such like a classic piece. And sort of coming into winter, I thought um, it might be fun to get like a little nice luxury designer scarf or two. So I went into Burberry thinking, I'll get a nice little luxury scarf for myself. And oh, look at this packaging. 
This is the packaging. It's very cute. Oh, I don't. Maybe that is not. A, okay, I think it's just a knot. <laughs> Green tissue paper. Oh, lovely. So this is actually the thicker. They make like two sizes. So it's just like the classic Burberry print. And it's so soft. It's cashmere. Why is this not fucking focusing? I'm just going to be wearing this this winter. And I'm super happy that I was able to grab this one. And then I actually sort of said, oh, you know, I would like to try on a Burberry coat, like the classic trench. And it was actually really difficult because they make like a classic one with like the checkers on the inside. But they also do this one. I don't think it's cashmere. It's like wool. It's like a thicker, more, more of like a coat. And um, I did find it really difficult to choose between the two. But I ended up going with the classic in the mid length in black. You guys know I don't tend to buy much ready to wear, but I think this is such a great investment piece. And I think Burberry is really reasonably priced compared to some of the other fashion houses. So this is the Burberry trench and it has the little adjustable waist strap, but apparently this is most commonly styled, like just tied up at the back like this and left open. And I'll undo it so you guys can see the inner lining. It's so stunning. So it's just like the classic Burberry check all on the inside. So I'm very happy with that one. And now moving on to Louis Vuitton. So I went into Louis Vuitton Chadston. My God, the line was so long. We waited and we got in and had a good time. Just so, so busy. Like it blew my mind how many people were in Chadston, like luxury shopping was insane. So going on from the winter theme, I had seen these on Pinterest for years. They are like the classic uh, silk looking scarf, like not woolen and heavy, just sort of like more delicate. And they have like a lot of colors to choose from. And I opted for like this beautiful champagne color. It is so soft. And now I have two perfect scarves for winter. It does have the classic monogram ever so slightly. It's not like too showy and in your face, but it is a little bit shimmery and beautiful. And it has like this little fluffy detail on the end. But yeah, it's, it's quite large. It's actually a square. So you could literally almost have it as like a blanket. Um, but I think it's really good for traveling like on planes and stuff. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one. They had more of like a pink blush color. But I do love, again, anything that's sort of similar to beige. I just think this is so beautiful. Now let's do Van Cleef. So I went into Van Cleef in Melbourne. There is not a Van Cleef in Brisbane. So if I want Van Cleef, I have to go to Sydney or Melbourne. I had the most amazing experience at Van Cleef Sydney when I was there three, two weeks ago um, with my sales associate. Ooh. But Sydney was amazing, loved Sydney. Melbourne was okay. Um, like I can't really fault it. He was just not like as warm and as helpful. He was a little bit, I don't know, just, I don't know, just not as friendly and not as like down to earth, I suppose. Nevertheless, they didn't have much stock. They didn't have anything in Mother of Pearl because it's sold out Australia wide. That's definitely still on my list, the Mother of Pearl. But I did get a little mini travel, travel thing for my jewelry, which I did appreciate. And we had some champagne and macarons, which were lovely. But I did end up getting two pieces from Van Cleef. I love the color scheme so much, like the olive green and white. And it's like this pearl white too. A little suede box. These are the Van Cleef and Arpels Sweet Alhambra in black onyx. 
So if you saw my previous Van Cleef unboxing, I have the vintage Alumbra, correct me if I'm wrong, the medium sized stud in the red color, carnelian. And these are onyx. And so they have like the gold around the outside and they're like the classic four leaf clover flower looking thing. And these are the smallest size. And I don't have any black earrings. I don't have any black studs. I really only have um, these sort of mini hoops, like sleepers with a little drop down pearl from Ana Luisa that are like my everyday earring. I love those. I have two pairs of Chanel earrings, which are like costume jewelry. You can't wear those every day because they're like not real. And um, sorry, when I say not real, costume jewelry is like not diamonds and real pearls. It's like fake. So it's like plated. Um, that's what I mean by not real. And um, yeah, so I don't really have any earrings other than like drop down pearls and like my eye ophthalmology earrings so I think these are like really beautiful and then I also got something that I don't have I ended up getting also in black onyx can you guess what it is I have bracelets so it's not a bracelet it is the black onyx necklace and now they don't make the sweet size, or maybe, no, they do make the sweet size, but they didn't have it. But I do prefer this size anyway, I think. I think it's so stunning. I think it will go with so, ma so many outfits, and I wear so much black. So I am, yeah, really, really happy with these purchases. I'm um, going to add those to my Van Cleef collection that is new and growing, and I'm obsessed with Van Cleef at the moment. And what else is on my Van Cleef list? I would love some other of Pearl Van Cleef, for sure, because I love Pearl. But I'm literally going to wear these today. Like, I, I love the pieces so much. Moving on to the second last piece. Second last piece, we have Gucci. And now I've always had really, really good uh, customer service and experience with Gucci. I went into the Chadston store in Melbourne. The line was, like, over half an hour long. Just goes to show how popular they are, and rightfully so. Like, Chanel could never... <laughs> Sales to sit there was very helpful, very patient. They had literally every size except my size. This was on my wish list. It's been on my wish list for a long time. So it was a little bit annoying to like have to wait in the line. I should have just called and said, hey, do you have like my size? That's okay. It was a good experience nonetheless. So I could then, when I came back to Brisbane yesterday, I went into Gucci store in uh, Queens Plaza and they were so lovely. Really good, really good service. And um, so I picked up this little little gem that I think is so practical, really versatile. I'm going to wear it all the time. I know a lot of people don't really like this, um, but I'm interested to see what you guys think because keeping in mind, I have to work in an environment where you have to have enclosed shoes and it's also coming into winter. So if I'm not wearing boots, I also don't have like a good pair of boots. My lab shoes that I wear every single day to teach and in lab, um, like these $15 Kmart shoes that I've had for like four years and like they do the job, but they're like breaking. So I should probably invest in some like good boots. Um, we also aren't really allowed to wear high heels in lab. So I think that these will need to be like broken in. They're like a really firm shoe. The dust bags at Gucci remind me of like potato sacks. So these are like these little flat enclosed mules. They kind of look like men's shoes, um, but I really like them. I really like them with like some mum jeans. I just, I don't know. I think they're like really casual, but chic. I'm very happy with these. Finally, I didn't have this item per se on my wish list. I had just a white bag and I've been into Chanel a couple of times just trying to get ideas. Like I said, I'm not going to buy a Chanel bag. Uh, but just because I would buy a Chanel bag on the secondhand market, I just don't want to contribute financially to Chanel. So I had a look in Louis Vuitton, had a look in Bottega, had a look in Dior, just looking for like a cute white bag. And I couldn't find one. And my good friend bought a Bulgari bag recently and I'm obsessed with it. It's like this beautiful green serpenty bag. And it prompted me to buy my green Gucci bag, which I love. Like the color is like this forest green. It's amazing. And I'd never shopped with Bulgari before. Whenever I think of Bulgari, I think of, I think it's Britney Spears circus music video where it's like a Bulgari necklace or something. And that's like all I think of because I think that was the first time I've really ever seen Bulgari. But I had a really really amazing experience in Bulgari. Probably, probably the one of the best, like easily top three experiences in a shop I've ever, ever had. 
and um, yeah, just very down to earth, very chatty, very warm, very friendly, and just so helpful as well, and really, really patient. And even though I was there to buy a bag, she was like, oh, do you like jewelry? And I was like, do I like jewelry? She goes, oh, come and try on this $70,000 diamond bracelet. And I was like, please. <laughs> so yeah, and I um, I really like valued my experience at Bulgari. Like I will 100% be back. I think that the quality, everything is made by hand. They use gemstones. When you compare that to something like Chanel, who don't use real gems or anything anything nice other than leather and they charge thirteen thousand dollars and bulgari charges like three or four like it's really a no-brainer and you know the service and whatever but yes great experience of bulgari loving the bags and the packaging this is what it looks like i think that bulgari is really underrated i really do i think that it isn't as exclusive or as expensive as some of the other fashion houses like Chanel and Hermes, but I really like their bags. I think they're really iconic. And, oh, metallic clothes. I like that a lot. Metallic? Magnetic. Oh my god, I'm clearly just having an absolute moment. Alright. So here she is. Beautiful little dust bag. Got the dust bag. And we have this beautiful top handle white serpenty bag. And the snake head here has malachite as the eyes, which is that beautiful green gem, which actually is also the material of my Van Cleef bracelet. I have a Malachite, so that will match perfectly, but I'm just, I'm, I don't have any top handle bags except for my Hermes Kelly. And I just think that they're super timeless and I'm so, so happy with this purchase. And it's so spacious and it has a really nice long strap, which is adjustable. And I just find like the detail and everything is, is really impressive. Like, the little hooks to have it hooked on. It just says Bulgari everywhere. Everything is just flawless. So this is the bag with the handle. They make this bag in like a couple of different shapes, like without a top handle, more of like a clutch bag and then more of like a squished in but tall bag. And it was really hard for me to decide. And they also had a pearl white and then this matte white. And I loved the pearl white. And I put a poll up on my Instagram and so many of you guys preferred the pearl. But I think for versatility, the white is a better call. And I think it's just more classic, if that makes sense. So I'm very happy with this one. This is the back, just says Bulgari down at the bottom. Yeah, I absolutely love, love this bag. And I thought I would just finish off with, I had some packages arrive. Okay, so this one is witchery. So I just got like this little blouse, more like corporate workwear. It's like, oh, I didn't realize it was sheer. I thought it had something underneath. It's kind of annoying, but it's very cute. I'm really loving green at the moment. I'll insert a photo of it like actually on here. Guess what this is? This is the racing belt that I ordered for Leo and I for our triathlon over a month ago. They were su like supposed to arrive over a month ago for our triathlon that was like two weeks ago and they just arrived. Thanks a lot. Okay, this one I think is really exciting if it is what I think it is. So like I said, it's coming into winter here in Australia and I love winter fashion. I don't like cold weather, but I do love winter fashion. So this is from Bell and Bloom. I'm trying to think, I think I got this from the Iconic, but I am loving everything tweed. And in an ideal world, I would have a Chanel tweed suit, but one, they are absurdly expensive. And two, I don't wanna fuck with Chanel. This is a dream. Oh, it's really soft too. So it's just like this tweed blazer. 
and again I love beige clearly it's like beige and white I'm not sure if you can like really see the color very well again I'll like insert a photo I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul what's your favorite piece let me know in the comments below make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video